Welcome to Ask the Edmonds Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple. Sergeant Shane Holly. we are talking today about home security cameras. Sure. The question is, is that is that uh, a good investment for a homeowner? Would police rec recommend that somebody install that to keep their home safe? Sure. Um, so we're starting to see more private home video systems um, pop up, you mm -hmm. know, and when we, we go out to um, a burglary investigation and the homeowner says, hey, well, I you know, I have a video system, yeah. and we use that to great effect recently. In fact, um, the we had a series of burglaries, um, and I think it went out on your site yeah. and some other. Yeah, we have some footage that we'll be able to share of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, that homeowner had um, a video system, and we were able to distribute those photographs. And in fact, um, both of the suspects were identified and were missing all but one of them at this point in time. Yeah, so all, great. Yeah, I mean, so we were able to basically solve that burglary um, because of that home video system. So okay. the short answer is, yeah, absolutely, if you're inclined to do that, great. You know, I know okay. the prices have come down and, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily replace an alarm system, but it, if, you know, for the price, if, if that's what you're going to go with, you know, it's it's certainly a, a good tool for us to use. Okay. Um, as far as alarm systems go, you know, I mean, we don't ever make recommendations for any particular company yeah. or anything along those lines. But if you do have an alarm system or you're going to have one installed, um, we always recommend that you have it monitored. Okay. Um, otherwise, you have an audible alarm that will go off when someone breaks into your house and probably shoo them out quicker. Um, but it doesn't notify us. Right. And we're in the business of catching burglars. Right. Um, and it's a lot easier to catch them essentially red-handed or right in the area leaving with your stuff than it is to hope that they left fingerprints or DNA evidence or something along those lines. Okay. Um, a lot of homeowners are under the false assumption that um, we charge for false alarms. Oh, okay. And we don't. Okay. And I, I've heard this from homeowners and business owners um, over the years. And they're like, well, you know, I just have the alarm company call me. Yeah. Well, by the time, with that lag time, and by the time it gets back to us, it's already too late and they're long gone. Okay, so if you have a choice with a with an alarm system, better to find one that connects directly to you guys, notifies 911 basically when something happens. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, very good. And just in terms of generally the topic of burglaries, this mm -hmm. is something that, you know, we, we hear about a fair amount. What is the um, the best strategy for someone who maybe is not home during the day because mm -hmm. that seems to be a particular time when people get victimized is maybe they work during the day, which a lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of um, people don't know that. Yeah, They're right. under the false assumption that, you know, the, the burglars are out sneaking night, around yeah, at night. Yeah. And it's not that we don't have nighttime burglars. Right. Uh, most of those typically are commercial buildings. Yeah. Um, also when nobody's around, break right. into a business. But your, your home burglars, are they're out and about during the day. Right. So what can somebody do, maybe the top few tips you might have for somebody to just kind of burglar-proof their home as best mm -hmm. they can when they're away for the day? Um, well, number one thing we always say, lock your doors. Right. Um, if people... You know, whether it's a false sense of security, it's not going to happen to me. To me it's surprising they, how many people leave. They would still do that. Yeah, yeah. their car doors, <clears throat> or even their right. houses. Um, or they don't lock the back door because, right. the, you know, who's going to break in the back? Well, most, or maybe leave a window unlatched, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In the summer months for yeah. ventilation or whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, secure those areas. Um, if you can secure windows, secure doors, make sure they're locked. Um, those, those are the ideal places to begin. Um, if you can somehow make it seem like somebody's home, you know, if there's a car in the driveway, something along those lines, the key thing to remember is burglars don't want to break into occupied houses. They right. want to get in, have access to your place without you there, yeah. and then be able to get out. Yeah. Um, one thing that I always tell people, um, because we hear it is, um, and we get calls about this, is, hey, some suspicious guy was knocking on my door in the neighborhood. Well, that could be somebody casing the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, um, so we don't necessarily recommend that you go just open the door for any random stranger, yeah. you know, unless you're comfortable with that, but at least let them know that you're home. Yeah. You know, maybe make contact through through the door, who is it, um, and then if they have some answer that just doesn't seem to make sense, I'm looking for John. Yeah. You know, there's no John that lives here. Then, you know, give us a call because yeah. that's somebody we want to talk to and figure out who they are and what they're doing in your neighborhood. Okay. So bottom line, 
Home security cameras are a fine idea if you mm -hmm. want to go that route. If you have a security system, make sure that you um, have it connected to the police department so that you guys yes. can respond faster. Yes. And in terms of burglary tips, you know, m making sure that people know if you are home that they're that you're notified of that. And if you aren't, um, I've already forgotten what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Just se secure your house. As best this is why you you're can. in charge, not me. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, Secure your house as best you right. can. Yeah. Lock your doors. Yes. You know, um, sticks and windows. Sticks and windows. That okay. sort of thing. That kind of thing. Um, make it look like your home. And then, you know, the neighborhood network. Right. You know, if your neighbors know um, yeah. and they see, hey, if you see someone suspicious around my house, just call the police. You and know, there's a lot to be said for that. You know, absolutely. getting to know your neighbors mm -hmm. and making sure you watch out for each other. So yeah. good, good tips. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us for Ask the Edmonds Cop. We'll be back again soon with another episode.